Last week, I received a really good question from a student who was asking about randomness in game development. We were working on developing this simple game where zombies spawn in off screen and walk towards the player. Where the zombies spawn is random. We randomly choose one of the four sides of the screen to spawn at and then choose some random position along that border. This way, the zombies would come into play from all over the place, and it gets chaotic pretty quick. When programming, you can generate random numbers very easily by simply calling a number generating function. In Lua, this is just math.random. So when choosing a side of the screen, I can call math.random, pass it a range of 1 to 4, and it'll randomly spit out 1, 2, 3, or 4. Then, depending on which side it gives me, I can randomly choose some pixel along that border by just passing in different parameters. And this works great. But this is where the question asker's concern comes into play. They notice that each time they start the game, they saw the same pattern in how the zombies were spawning. In fact, it was the same pattern that I was demonstrating in my video. For instance, when I start the game, the first zombie comes in from the bottom left, then the right, then the bottom, and then the top and so on. It would always be this exact pattern. Starting up the game again shows the zombies coming in from the same places. In the student's own words, the math.random function seems to be rigged. And honestly, it is rigged. But there's a reason for this. Computers on their own are not capable of generating truly random numbers. Instead, they need to use some human-written algorithm that generate numbers that appear to be random. Since these numbers are the result of an algorithm, that means that the output can be predicted, and therefore the numbers that are generated are not truly random. But these pseudo-random numbers still serve a valuable purpose. These zombies that walk in certainly feel very random, and that's all that matters. The problem comes into play when the seed is not set correctly. The randomness algorithm works by using some value, called the seed, to output the list of numbers. Each seed you give it will result in different random numbers generated. But if I give it the same seed over and over again, it'll keep spitting out the same pattern of numbers. And that's what's happening in this zombie game. The question asker and my video were all using the same default seed, meaning that each call to math.random would result in the same sequence of numbers. So fixing this is just a matter of giving the program a different seed. Most languages will have a function similar to Lua's math.randomseed, where you can set the seed to whatever you want, normally just some number. So if I put math.randomseed with 45 into my program, suddenly the positions that the zombies spawn at will be different. Whatever number you put in here will result in a different spawn pattern. But this doesn't really fix the problem, because even though the pattern is different now, it's still the same each time. Ideally, you'd want a different seed every time you start the program. Therefore, the question is, what can I put in math.randomseed that would be different for everyone each time they start the game? The most common and probably the best solution is to use the current time as the random seed. Time is always changing, so the seed will always be different. So when I have math.randomseed with os.time as the parameter, I know that every time my game starts for any user, it will always be different, and the predictable pattern will no longer be an issue. I hope you found this video helpful, and please post any additional questions down in the comments. If you'd like to see more game development content from me, be sure to subscribe, I really appreciate the support. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.